Hello everybody, it's Claire with another project for ScrapFX design team. Today I'm working in my Square Dilutions journal and I'm going to be working on a few pages. I'm just preparing them with gesso, so I'm going to start off with one page, then skip two pages, no gesso on those, and then the two pages after have also got gesso on. So I'm starting off by adding um, the sewing papers, collage, rice paper onto the page along with the loopy script collage paper as well. I'm sticking these in using gel medium. Then I'm going back to the first page and I'm starting off by adding in some aloe. This is a Dina Wakely paint. Uh, it's a really nice subtle colour. And I'm Then I'm using the olive green light. This is an Amsterdam acrylic paint. I'm just adding it in a few places. I am trying to leave some white space. Not very good at that as you know sometimes. I do like to fill my pages with colour and I'm adding that colour to the front page as well. This is a lovely stencil, it's called Nodules and this is a new one from ScrapFX and I'm just using this with Brilliant Green, this Amsterdam acrylic uh, paint and again I'm adding this to all three pages but not the skipped pages in between. This just helps to break up that initial few bits of paint that have gone on the page. It's really pretty, I like that. So then this is a stamp called Fern Leaf Stamp and I'm just using some black acrylic paint. This is an oxide black from Amsterdam Acrylic and I'm just using a small brayer and brayering that paint onto the stamp. I will clean it off really well when I've finished because I don't want to leave the paint on there because it has got plastic in it and it will, will or it could affect the shape of the stamp. So. I will give it a good clean after. Um, I'm just stamping out a few of these because my idea is to cut them out and then use them as collage fodder on the page. So here we go, now I've cut them out and I'm sticking them on the, so this is the double page that comes after the first one, so I'm sticking them on that left hand side of that page, the top and bottom, and then the first page as well. So this is the uh, Daisy Stamp, stent, no, Daisy Flowers Stencil by ScrapFX, and I'm just stenciling out some flowers using um, Amsterdam Acrylic, this is a turquoise green, and um, permanent red violet in light. And then I'm cutting them out. It's very fiddly, but it's worth the effort because they look so pretty once they've been cut out. So you can see I've stuck those fern leaf stamps onto the first page as well. And then I'm using the um, angle and circle maker and I'm just drawing a big circle on that first page using a craft knife to cut it out. and then drawing through it so that on this next page here I can cut this one out and then I will have a hole on the background that I created on those other pages. Right, so that's going to become like the window. And then I'm just using uh, Dina Wakely Rosy and adding a little bit of colour into the middle of the flowers. So then I've got some thread and I'm using a bit of double sided sticky tape and I'm trapping the thread in between the flowers um, because I want them to be kind of spinning on the thread through the uh, window in the journal page. So I'm doing one piece of thread with one daisy flower on and another piece with two daisy flowers on. So I cut enough out so that I would have a front and a back for these flowers. Okay, then I'm using double sided sticky tape and adding that to one side of the page where there is no paint as you can see. And then once I've peeled the backing off it, I'm then going to stick the thread with the daisies on into place. I 
simple side of sticky tape is great because it really does adhere very well. So there we go, that's how I've created the little window. Then I'm using a white gel pen and I'm just adding some doodle details onto these uh, fern leaf stamps. Just adds a little bit more interest as well. And in the centre of the daisy flowers from that stencil, I'm just using a black pilot pen and I'm just adding some dots and scribbles into the middle of those flowers. This is the uh, number collage stamp by Scrap FX and I'm just using um, a green ink pad and just adding some more stamping onto there. Then a bit of mark making using a black Posca pen and I'm going to repeat this on the reverse of this window page. So the circle that I cut out I've used to mask off an area on this page on the right hand side and then I've added some stamping there as well. So the reason I on the right hand page that I masked off an area was so that um, when the daisies, when you see through when the pages are together um, there's nothing behind the daisies to detract any interest from them. So I'm just using a pit marker pen and I'm just adding shadow to the edge of that circle. And then I'm just mapping out where my words are going to go because they're going to go around the edge of the circle. So the only time you'll see the quote is when the page is open. And then I'm using a Posca pen and adding in my writing. This is where I realised that some of the stamping was a little bit dark but I'm okay with that, that's fine. If you felt your stamping was too dark, you could use a little bit of watered down gesso and just paint over it and just push it into the background a little bit. So I'm making my letters fill the space that's available, which means that it creates that lovely circle shape in the middle. This is a quote about spring. Now this um, stencil had a lovely piece of black paper behind it and I suddenly thought oh, I'm going to make some daisies on here. The colours really, really pop on black. So I'm doing the same thing that I did for the ones that are in the window, just stenciling some more out. And um, as you can see, really vibrant on black. I don't often work on black. I think I might have to get me a black journal. And then again, putting a dot of the rosy in the centre. I don't know why I left that one there, <laughs> obviously didn't see it. And then I've cut them out and I'm just going to arrange them. I was trying to decide do they go directly behind or shall I arrange them so that you can, yeah. And that was what I ended up doing, so that they weren't going to be behind the ones that were in the window. Then I stuck them in place just using an ordinary glue stick. And there we go, there's the finished page. So I hope you've enjoyed this project. Thank you very much for watching.